gonna show you guys how to set up our new white backdrops. These are made of a very stretchy spandex material, so they're a little bit trickier to set up. Um, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is when you get your backdrop, it should be folded nice like this. You're gonna wanna identify where the zipper is. So go ahead and unfold your backdrop. And what you're gonna wanna do is in the corner, you're gonna wanna reach down just like you would with uh, maybe your duvet cover at your house and you're going to want to find the opposite corner in the opposite corner you'll see this little hole right here so go ahead and um, put it on your arm like I did grab the hole on the opposite end as you'll see I've already set up my backdrop frame and I've already put the sandbags on it that's really important to make sure you have the sandbags there because the stretchy material is going to pull your backdrop in so you want it to be weighted already so what I'm going to go ahead and do on this bottom here, you can see, is I'm going to take off this upright and it helps if you put one foot on the base of your backdrop. I'm going to go ahead and take off that upright and I'm going to slide that hole that I just found right through it and I'm going to put the upright right back in. And you wanna make sure that you don't pinch the fabric, uh, the upright to the base. And then I'm gonna do that exact same thing on the opposite side. So the first thing I'm gonna do, again, is find the opposite corner here, and you can follow this seam down the side. Find that hole. I'm gonna put my foot on the base again. Now this, this one is just going to be a little bit harder because you have some tension here from the backdrop being pulled. So I'm going to take the upright off. I'm going to slide it through that hole. And put the upright right back in. Now it might be a little bit harder to get the upright on and off because these are a little bit closer together because as I'm putting the backdrop on, it's squeezing the frame together. So that's step one. Step two is going to be shimmying the backdrop up the uprights. So you're going to want to do this incrementally. You don't want to do it all at once. So I'm going to pull it up about three feet on one side, put up about three feet on the other side. And then I'm gonna keep doing that. It helps if you kind of fold it in the middle as you do it. Now the reason I'm not pulling it up all at once is it will put too much pressure on one side of the backdrop and the backdrop will start to concave in. Once I have it about three quarters of the way up, I'm still holding it to make sure it doesn't fall. I'm going to go to my first corner. I'm going to pull it all the way up and over the top of the upright. I'm going to do that to the second corner. Great. Now that that's up, I can go ahead and zip the top of the backdrop. So you'll see a zipper at the top. Just want to go ahead and zip it all the way across. Great. So once you're zipped up, now you can go ahead and take that hole and just put the top of the upright through the hole. I'm going to do that to this side as well. Awesome. So it's looking good. I'm just going to put the final touches on it. So what I want to do is I want to make sure that this seam right here, as is close to the side of the upright as possible, so that it's not showing from the front. Then I'm going to go ahead and pull it all the way down. This backdrop will not go all the way to the floor. You'll have about a three inch gap from the backdrop to the floor. No worries. This side looks pretty good. I'm just going to pull it down. Great. 
Now I'm going to make sure that my bases are as flat on the floor as possible and adjust them as normal. And it looks good. So that's about all you have to do. Um, it does take a little practice to, to figure it out, but once you get it, it's pretty easy. Taking the backdrop off is about the same process. You'll unzip it and shimmy it down the sides. A little bit easier. Um, but yeah, that's it. If you have any questions, reach out to your production manager.